Hi everybody, this is Liam Martin from Running Remote. And in today's video, it's gonna be a bit of a quick one. We're talking about Facebook. Facebook has decided to take at least a big chunk of their business and make it remote, which I'm 100% behind. However, today I found that they are hiring a director of remote work and I looked at the position. I've got some notes, Facebook. So what I thought I would do is because I'm such a helpful human being, I thought I would go through this particular application and point out a couple of the faults inside of uh, what you're looking for and how you can kind of tweak this to be able to make sure that you get somebody that is really gonna be great inside of your organization. So let's jump over to the video now. Okay, so the first thing that jumps out at me, Facebook, is your position is the director of remote work and yet you must be located in Menlo Park California, AKA San Francisco or Menlo Park or San Francisco. You cannot be located anywhere, AKA located remotely. This is really important, Facebook. You need to be able to get rid of Menlo Park, get rid of San Francisco and say the position is remote. You need to be able to put that inside of your job application. I actually asked around to a couple people and they said, yeah, they're only gonna have this position in those locations, which is counterproductive. You need to be able to make sure that this position can be remote. If you're not eating your own dog food, it's probably not going to end up being a very successful position. Context for me, we have workers in 37 different countries all over the world. It's really important that we eat our own dog food if we're going to remain a remote first organization and hopefully help other people to be able to get to that same point as well. A couple other points that I wanna to touch on. Uh, inside of your position here, you have minimum qualifications, 15 years experience in leading people teams, remote workforces, HR business partners, or other people operations. And then your preferred qualifications is five plus years experience working remote or supporting, developing, or managing a remote or distributed workforce. I would flip those personally. Uh, to me, the experience inside of having a remote team is much more important than necessarily running a HR workforce because there are so many fundamental differences between remote work and brick and mortar work. And I'll have a couple videos that I'm hopefully going to poke up and link to throughout this particular uh, video. It should be floating around my head right now. So you can go and check some of those out, but it's really important Facebook to be able to make sure that you're hiring people that have actually worked remotely. What it seems to me is you're probably going to hire someone who's an HR specialist and not necessarily a remote work specialist who just also happens to have some HR experience, which I think is what you probably need to go for. Another important one is you want someone with a BA or BS degree or equivalent in HR work experience. And this is another one that I think is a pretty big red flag because classically, and again, you probably don't know this, the remote work world and the HR world have generally been at each other's throats, to be completely honest with you. And it's more like a chihuahua versus a bulldog or something like that. Uh, the HR world is obviously a lot bigger, but we've been in a state of flux recently. Um, historically, the HR world has said that remote work is just not a very useful way of working. Um, we've shown them a lot of data to hopefully try to change their mind. Now they've been forced into the situation. I think hiring someone who is really good at HR or has a lot of HR experience is going to bias your entire organization towards a remote, unfriendly work experience. And you really need to be able to hire someone that's been doing it remotely, has been eating their own dog food, has really been able to understand the ins and outs of remote work uh, because that person is going to really be able to take your organization into a new direction, which I think right now, if you're hiring an HR person, 
it's probably gonna be just more of the same. And you're probably not gonna be able to get some of the advantages of a remote first or at least a distributed work philosophy. So I have a couple other notes that I am very happy to be able to give you Facebook. If you would like to uh, get those notes, please just comment down in the comments below. I am very happy to be able to respond to you. And if you guys are looking for a director of remote work or anything like that, uh, please put it down in the comments below. I'd love to be able to hear what your perspectives are on those people. What are you looking for? What are you not looking for? Because I think we're gonna see a lot more of these types of jobs in the future, which is really exciting. I just wanna be able to make sure that those people are being hired in the right context and we're not getting people that historically are just sort of paying lip service to remote work and instead are hardcore remote first advocates. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any other questions, again, put them down in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you really like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel because I talk about this kind of stuff all day long. See you in the next video.